it was supposed to be a sunny day and I would have a really sunny morning session until noon. Well, the weather thought different about it and it started raining. So I gave up sitting in the rain to come do some small tasks at home. It's all about fishing. I like to fish for bream, carp, tench, uh, different species of, of white fish like roach and rudd, but the fishing bait can be really expensive. So I try to make it as cheap as possible. I'm not saying I'm never buying any fishing bait, but I have some different methods that I use to make it just a little bit cheaper. One of the ways is grinding up stale bread. This is, well, it's not fresh anymore. It's not really hard, it's not fresh anymore. But I just let it lay like that, let it dry out totally so it gets really hard and then I'll start grinding it up. I'll show you what I do next. This is just is it recording? Yes it is. This is just a pillowcase filled with really dry bread. And I have a machine that can grind uh, beans, grains, small stuff, but these pieces are too big to grind. So I have to get it to a certain consistency. I have to get the bread to this consistency before I can grind it up. Is my hand showing on the video? Yes it is. Before I can grind it up with the machine. It's already really small but the machine can only take particles like this. So it's a handmade job. What I do next, I just, this pillowcase you just fill it with dried bread, just close it down, okay, stop falling on its side. I cover it twice so the bread doesn't come out this side. I use my tool I normally have to use to make the bread. Now I will use it to break the bread. As you can see this is quite a tedious job so if anyone knows a better way to do so please tell me. After breaking the bread for a while I will start sifting it so I can get the smaller pieces to fall through the sift and I will reuse the bigger pieces to make them smaller again. I do this because it's really hard on my hands and my arms to grind up the bread and as the amount goes down I have less problems breaking the bread in little pieces. Okay, I was stupid enough to think that I could get this pillowcase inside this small sift which is really stupid because I already know it doesn't. So at least this shows I'm not perfect. Contrary to what you see most of the time on the videos where everything is perfect, I am not perfect. Sometimes I am even really stupid. But anyhow, so I'll sift this out 
So the smaller pieces will fall through, the bigger pieces will go back into the pillowcase and I'll start the process over again until everything is in this bin. Okay, I'm at the grinder. This is my grinding machine. So I still have to watch out with these pieces. Oh, I'm running around with my tripod. Uh, I still have to watch out with these smaller pieces because they can still block the machine. I've had it happen before. It's not a perfect machi machine. It's not the most expensive one either, but normally he does the job. So I've got this bin filled up with broken down hard bread and I'll grind it I'll put it in the machine bit by bit. I will uh, lower the sound because the machine is quite loud and I'll show you the result. I changed the position of the machine just a little bit to have more light. You can see there's some sunshine coming in and I'll start grinding now. Okay, I'm almost finished grinding. I forgot to put on the camera again. Just putting in leftover pieces. Then I can show you how it looks. Okay, now removing the head. Check. This is the sift I used, that's more than enough to grind it into small particles. I can just put them over upside down and I'll pour it in this bin again. This is what I'm left with, a really fine powder I can use to make fishing bait. I can add whatever I want to this. This is always at least 50% uh, of my fishing bait when I'm going for whitefish like bream, bleaks, uh, roaches and stuff. So that's it. That's how I want it, and that's how I got it. Okay, that's it for this video. I know the first part of the video is uh, reasonably hard work for what it's worth, but for me, financially, it makes quite a difference. Uh, I'm financially not capable of buying all the fishing bait I want. I have to make sure I do a lot myself. It takes time, but it doesn't take money. Anyhow, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If not, I'm sorry. Anyhow, see you in the next video. Bye.